Adult Education, Wikipedia Article Audio Adult education is a practice in which adults engage in systematic and sustained self-educating activities in order to gain new forms of knowledge, skills, attitudes, or values. It can mean any form of learning adults engage in beyond traditional schooling, encompassing basic literacy to personal fulfillment as a lifelong learner. In particular, Adult education reflects a specific philosophy about learning and teaching based on the assumption that adults can and want to learn, that they are able and willing to take responsibility for that learning, and that the learning itself should respond to their needs. Characteristics Types Driven by what one needs or wants to learn, the available opportunities, and the manner in which one learns, Adult learning is affected by demographics, globalization, and technology. The learning happens in many ways and in many contexts just as all adults lives differ. Adult learning can be in any of the three contexts, i.e. Educating adults differs from educating children in several ways given that adults have accumulated knowledge and work experience which can add to the learning experience. Most adult education is voluntary, therefore, the participants are generally self-motivated, unless required to participate, by an employer. The science and art of helping adults learn, the practice of adult education is referred to as andragogy, to distinguish it from the traditional school-based education for children pedagogy. Unlike children, Adults are seen as more self-directed, rather than relying on others for help. Adults are mature and therefore have knowledge and have gained life experiences which provide them a foundation of learning. An adult's readiness to learn is linked to their need to have the information. Their orientation to learn is problem-centered rather than subject-centered. Their motivation to learn is internal. Adults frequently apply their knowledge in a practical fashion to learn effectively. They must have a reasonable expectation that the knowledge they gain will help them further their goals. For example, during the 1990s, many adults, including mostly office workers, enrolled in computer training courses. These courses would teach basic use of the operating system or specific application software. Because the abstractions governing the user's interactions with a PC were so new, many people who had been working white-collar jobs for 10 years or more eventually took such training courses, either at their own whim or at the behest of their managers. In the United States and many areas in Canada, a more general example is when adults who dropped out of high school return to school to complete general education requirements. Most upwardly mobile positions require at the very least a high school diploma or equivalent. A working adult is unlikely to have the freedom to simply quit his or her job and go back to school full-time. Principles Public school systems and community colleges usually offer evening or weekend classes for this reason. In Europe this is often referred to as second chance, and many schools offer tailor-made courses and learning programs for these returning learners. Furthermore, adults with poor reading skills can obtain help from volunteer literacy programs. These national organizations provide training, tutor certification, and accreditation for local volunteer programs. States often have organizations which provide field services for volunteer literacy programs. The purpose of adult education in the form of college or university is distinct. In these institutions, the aim is typically related to personal growth and development as well as occupation and career preparedness. Another goal might be to not only sustain the democratic society, but to even challenge and improve its social structure. Challenges and Motivating Factors 
A common problem in adult education in the U.S. is the lack of professional development opportunities for adult educators. Most adult educators come from other professions and are not well trained to deal with adult learning issues. Most of the positions available in this field are only part-time without any benefits or stability since they are usually funded by government grants that might last for only a couple of years. However, in Canada, professional development is available in all provinces and territories through post-secondary institutions and most provinces also provide professional development through their Ministry of Education or school boards and through non-governmental organizations. In addition, there are programs about adult education for existing and aspiring practitioners offered at various academic levels, by universities, colleges, and professional organizations. Continuing education can help adults maintain certifications, fulfill job requirements and stay up to date on new developments in their field. Also, the purpose of adult education can be vocational, social, recreational, or for self-development. One of its goals may be to help adult learners satisfy their personal needs and achieve their professional goals. Therefore, its ultimate goal might be to achieve human fulfillment. The goal might also be to achieve an institution's needs. For example, this might include improving its operational effectiveness and productivity. A larger scale goal of adult education may be the growth of society by enabling its citizens to keep up with societal change and maintain good social order. Benefits One fast growing sector of adult education is English for speakers of other languages, also referred to as English as a second language or English language learners. These courses are key in assisting immigrants with not only the acquisition of the English language, but the acclimation process to the culture of the United States as well as other English-speaking countries like Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Monitoring The principles of Andragogi flow directly from an understanding of the characteristics of adults as learners and can be recognized when we understand the characteristics of adults, and see the way those characteristics influence how adults learn best. Teachers who follow the principles of Andragogi when choosing materials for training and when designing program delivery, find that their learners progress more quickly and are more successful in reaching their goals. The Canadian Literacy and Learning Network outlines the seven key principles of adult learning. In other words, these seven principles distinguish adult learners from children and youth. Global Reports on Adult Learning and Education Adults have many responsibilities that they must balance against the demands of learning. Because of these responsibilities, adults have barriers and challenges against participating in learning and continuing their education. The barriers can be classified into three groups including institutional, situational, and dispositional. Some of these barriers include the lack of time balancing career and family demands, finances, and transportation. As well, Things such as confidence, interest, lack of information about opportunities to learn, scheduling problems, entrance requirements and problems with child care can be barriers in learning. Distance and slash or online learning can address some problems with adult education that cause these barriers. Understanding what motivates adult learners and what their barriers are can assist in enrolling more adult learners. When adult learners clearly know the benefits of their continuing education, such as getting promotions or better job performance, they are more likely to be motivated to attend. When teachers are aware of the students' characteristics, they can develop lessons that address both the strengths and the needs of each student. 
Adults that are motivated to have confidence and positive self-esteem are more likely to develop into lifelong learners. Adult education can have many benefits ranging from better health and personal well-being to greater social inclusion. It can also support the function of democratic systems and provide greater opportunities for finding new or better employment. Adult education has been shown to have a positive impact on the economy. Adult education provides opportunities for personal growth, goal fulfillment, and socialization. Chris McAllister's research of semi-structured interviews with older adult learners shows a motivation to communicate with people and to get out of the house to keep mentally active. Researchers have documented the social aspects of older adult education. Friendship was described as important aspects of adult learning and the classroom was seen as an important part of their social network. The development of social networks and support was found to be a key motivation of adult learners. As editor of a book entitled Adult Education and Health, Leona English claims that including health education as part of adult education makes for a healthier community. When surveying adult education programs in Japan, Nojima found that classes focusing on hobbies and very specific recreational activities were by far the most popular. The author noted that more time, money, and resources needed to be in place so participants would be able to take advantage of these types of activities. With Nall explored the influences on later life learning in various parts in the UK. Results were similar in that later in life education afforded these older adults opportunities to socialize. Some experts claim that adult education has a long-term impact on the economy and that there is a correlation between innovation and learning at the workplace. By Geographic Region Global reports on adult learning and education are a series of reports that monitor progress on adult learning and education, promote action, identify trends in the field of AL, and explore solutions to challenges. Grawl play a key role in meeting UNESCO's commitment to monitor and report on countries. Implementation of the Bell M Framework for Action this framework was adopted by 144 UNESCO member states at the 6th International Conference on Adult Learning and Education, which was held in Bell. M. Brazil, in 2009. In the Bell. M. Framework for Action, countries agreed to improve AIL across five areas of action, policy, governance, financing, participation, inclusion, and equity, and quality. Historical This article incorporates text from a free content work. Licensed under CC by SA IGO 3.0 License Statement, Third Global Report on Adult Learning and Education, The Impact of Adult Learning and Education on Health and Well-Being, Employment and the Labor Market, and Social, Civic and Community Life, 19, UNESCO, UNESCO, UNESCO. Formal Structured learning that typically takes place in an education or training institution, usually with a set curriculum and carries credentials, non-formal. Learning that is organized by educational institutions but non-credential. Non-formal learning opportunities may be provided in the workplace and through the activities of civil society organizations and groups, in formal education. Learning that goes on all the time, resulting from daily life activities related to work, family, community or leisure. To learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, Please see Wikipedia adding open license text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use. Educators Sources 
notes.